Hello guys, this is Farhan from Graphic and Art by Farhan and today I'll be showing you how to isolate an object from an image in GIMP. So let's get started. File File Open And I'm going to open this alley image I will link in the description for it. Now you can see that there is a sofa in the middle of the road and if you zoom in you can see that it's fake, it's flying and the shadow is fake as well. Now this sofa has been put here. A pay, but that doesn't really matter because what I'm going to show is how to isolate this object from the image. So there are many ways to select an object. You go to go to the patch tool or the free select tool, or you could go to the foreground select tool. So if we can see this is how you this go with this sofa but if you go to select you can see it grows out and selects other areas of the image which is not good for what we want right now because you can see if you hover over the foreground selector, it will select a region containing foreground objects. So this is not what we're looking for right now. What we're looking for is a bad stool. So I'm going to, so I'm going to trace this object. I'll speed this up. So you can see we've successfully selected the object, the sofa. Now, this is the important part. How do we isolate? How do we isolate this object from the image? Now, what is isolate? If you're watching this tutorial and you don't know what isolating object is, it's to cut out an object. Let's say remove the background or remove the object just separating an object from the image is what isolating the object means so what we're gonna do is cut it by clicking ctrl x oh and if you don't have your edit your alpha channel then add alpha channel control x you can see it's gone control v create a new layer so initially nothing has changed but if you but if you go with making this layer invisible you can see it's gone it's an object now 
this is how to isolate an object now what we're gonna what is the benefit what are we going to do with this so far well what you can do is go create another open another image now you can take this sofa to another image and paste it there that would be matching the background with an additional image making it one image and this is how Hollywood or our image editors make a movie poster so after making this so while making this tutorial I realized that next Friday I should make a tutorial about how to place an object in an image and so and just so that will be all for today I'll see you next Friday